Fortunately, Mike's been keeping a journal here, the animal count. So these are the uh, grizzlies that we've glassed up and what day we've seen them. Let me just get a record of that so I don't forget. Just want to show you outside. We got a snowstorm going on again, the big blizzard. The blizzard of, of 19. And the funny thing is, we have our, uh, our weather report thing right here, and it says, whoops, out of the way, ah, <laughs> the future forecast, the next 12 to 24 hours, a sunny sky with uh, partial clouds, <laughs> all right, well, Judging, I, I don't think so. I think we're in for uh, more snow. <clears throat> yeah, I might just sleep in the cabin tonight. Yesterday, I glassed up a sow with a cub. I went out in a snowstorm and crossed a ridge and glassed them. And then uh, four hours later, I glassed up another sow with a cub. So that that's, brings me to about like 13 bears, I think. Um, the weather was so bad, he was calling his pilot. And we were praying for a, a break in the storm today. If the pilot can't fly in and get us today, we're going to be stuck out here at least another five days. And we only have food enough for uh, two days. So we'll be shooting caribou to survive. Um, so I pray that we get out today and that there's a break in the weather and that there's not too much snow on the uh, runway for the plane to land. Otherwise, it'll be another five days out here. And this next storm that's coming in today, it's going to drop the temperature to uh, between 0 and minus 10. So far, we've just been in the uh, low 30s and the high 20s. So hopefully we can get out and uh, that the plane's able to fly today. All right. Unless a grizzly just comes out of one of these snow hills in the next hour or two. I don't think we're punching our tags. But I guess it's more important to be safe, but the uh, weather really ripped us off on this hunt. And I'll talk more about that later. All right. Over and out. Well, this is it, the end of the adventure. They gave us a two hour pickup window right now, so the plane is probably on its way. Only I'm taking a grizz if one walks off this hillside right now. Don't think it's gonna happen. It snowed about another four inches last night, and we got freezing rain down in the bottom. It looks pretty bleak out here. I glassed up a sow and a cub yesterday over in that region, um, probably about 5.30. And about 2 o'clock afternoon, I glassed a sow with a cub over the top of this. Um, it's like there's no boars out here except for the one that uh, we ran into on the second day. And I have very hard opinions on uh, our guide over that blown stock and opportunity. Um, I wish I could have that back again, and I would have been more forceful with uh, my opinions. But 
this is it. Bush Creek Gold Mine. Got that Suzuki Samurai sitting there. They got an abandoned home with, you know, probably $3 million worth of machinery just sitting out there. A couple of giant backhoes, everything. And then they got this cabin over here. It's a public cabin. So if you ever wanted to fly in, have a little honeymoon or something like that for a weekend, you'd probably be all alone out here. Definitely wouldn't do it in the winter time because you may not get out. But all this stuff is blueberries out here. Blueberries and crowberries. If you were to come out here in September, there'd be hundreds of caribou, maybe thousands. And probably lots more bears. Alright. End of an era. That will leave you with the lone and dreary wilderness. I guess one last peek if I can zoom in to show you how frozen it is out there. Never had one bear in this valley, or one bear on this back ridge. Rob was saying they usually get three to four bear on the back of this ridge, but I found out what that means. Three to four bear means um, two sows with two cubs, not huntable boars. All the bears I was blasting up in here were way back there in those horseshoes. And behind this, I kept hoping a bear was going to drop over this ridge line or come through the high pass there or that low pass there behind the cabin. Never did, though. All right, over and out. Well, for what it's worth. I glassed up a caribou. Now, question is, if we can even see him. It's too bright, so I can't even see that far through my camera here. Just a dot. Just a dot. Come salvation. Where is he out of? Bear Bear Lake Aviation? Uh, uh, Willow. Okay. What'd you call his company? Bear? Bear Mountain Air. Uh, you guys watch your heads. You guys don't want to step, step uh, this way. Over. 